Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Gears of War, the PC version, and I'm going to install it onto my Steam Deck. Um, it's harder to install because um, it's an older game and it has like a lot of dependencies that are really outdated. So yeah, I've actually done a video in the past for this game. So Gears of War Steam Deck. I have a video here showing you how to do it, but um, yeah, that got outdated. So I'm actually doing an updated video. So I want to give a shout out to this viewer, um, Lord Keeper 13. So he's the one that said like the script doesn't work anymore because the servers are down. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to do a new video. So I was like, yeah, let's see if anyone else has this issue. So another person did have this issue, Calamity Bard. Okay, so that's why I, I checked it out and he was right, like the servers are down. So now what we need to do is, let's just get started. So you need to go to this GitHub page. So it's by Neon XD. So he's the one that made the script. All right, we still use this script. Okay, so I'll link these in the description. So once you're here, uh, you need to download this. So how do you do that? Go to deck stuff and then here code, see the green button code, download zip. Okay, so we're going to download that. And then uh, you also want to go and get this GFWL. So this is um, the games for Windows Live, the offline installer, right? Because like it doesn't install now. So we need to do it manually. So this is very um, important. So also here code. Download zip. And we got that. Okay. And then let's go to. We also need Proton Tricks and we need Proton Up QT. Okay. So if, you, so if you don't have that, go to the Discover Software Center and type Proton. Make sure you have this the green arrow up and the uh, Proton Tricks, uh, the red wine glass. Okay. So. For Proton Up QT, launch it. You need a Proton version for Steam. We need GE Proton 715. Okay, so just go to add version, GE Proton, and locate 715. And depending on when you're watching this video, because these get pushed out, like these versions get pushed out, so you might have to manually install it. And if you don't know how to do that, I actually have a video. So let me show you. I've got a video showing you how to manually install. I'll link it in the description. So it's still here in Proton Up QT, but uh, it might not be when you're watching this video. So I've got a video showing you how to manually install GE Proton. So I'll link that video just in case. Okay. So once you've got your uh, Proton 715, if you newly installed it, you have to exit Steam and like exit steam totally like this make sure this icon is gone okay gone and then you need to reopen steam for it to kick in okay so once you've done that now i'm going to locate my game so you have to have the game folder obviously so i've got my game here in home games gears of war and then inside this game directory binaries and we need startup.exe so right click this add to steam okay go to my steam library and then search for it here start oh, i've got two okay I'm, i think i need to remove them first because i was testing it out i don't know which one's which now all right let's do that again so startup.exe right click it add to steam okay it's right here Um, click on the gear icon properties and then compatibility we're going to force the compatibility tool to GE Proton 715 the one that you just downloaded okay, and then we're going to run the game once okay run it once first it shouldn't work because you don't have the dependencies okay so this is what happens that's great now we're going to open the prefix folder okay so what you need to do is Go to Dolphin and then go to Home 
Make sure you click the hamburger button, show hidden files. This is checked. Go inside the hidden folder, dot steam, theme, theme apps, compact data, and it should be just now. So if you go to modified just now, this is the prefix folder that just created. So I know this is the prefix folder for the game. Okay. So that's important. Now, now what we need to do is go to your downloads. This is the deck stuff. All right. So extract this. We only need the Gears of War 2006 folder. So extract it to your downloads folder. That's what I do. Okay. It's right here. And then right click it. Go to properties, permissions. Okay. Make sure you set everything to can modify and view the content. Okay. So make sure it's set to can view and modify content and then apply changes to all subfolders and their contents. Okay. An important step. Okay. And then inside this Gears of War 2006, because we can't download the um, games for Windows Live anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to just manually do it. So just create a folder called DL. Okay. And then let's open a new tab for downloads. So here's the DL. And then in downloads, we also got that offline installer, remember? So also extract this to the downloads folder. Yeah, it's right here. And then we've got the games for Windows Live setup.exe. Right, we need to drag this over to the DL folder. And then just copy here. And we're going to rename it to gfwl.exe. Okay. Do it like this. And then. Okay. And then here in the like original script, you need to copy this code. I'll link, I'll, I'll put this uh, code in the description. This is the te temporary code. So just copy this, copy this. And here, I'm just going to create a text file just, just for easy reference. And I'm going to paste the code, paste. Okay, we need to replace this prefix number to our prefix. Okay, this is not the correct prefix number. All right, so this is the prefix number we need in our compact data. The prefix folder that we just created okay just copy this number it's random like it's it's random every time you add a non-steam game this generates a random so it's different for everybody so i'm just going to copy it and then go back to my text file i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to paste it here so those two places and then i'm just going to copy this script copy okay uh, you can close this if you want. You can save it. And then go back to your downloads. And then here, Gears of War, the folder. Right click it. And then open terminal here. Okay. And then right click here, paste the script. And then press enter. And then it's going to do its thing. So this takes around, I think, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I think there's some stuff that you need to like press. So just be patient here. Let it do its thing. And if you're liking the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. We talk a lot about gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck and the Lenovo Legion Go. We talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers. And also how to install Windows games onto your Steam OS. So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so you can see it's doing its thing. Let's just be patient and let it finish. Okay, so I sped it up a little bit. And this is the physics uh, we need. So just agree and continue. Let it install and then click close. And then it's going to continue installing the dependencies. There's a lot of dependencies for this game. It's these are the old games, and you know, a lot of these dependencies are needed. So just wait for it. I'm gonna speed it up again.
Okay, so after around like 10 minutes, I think, uh, we get to this part and it fails. All right, so the games for Windows Live, the installer doesn't work. So that's why we need to manually install it. And then you just have to press exit here. So install failed, just press exit and you're out of it. Okay, so if you run the game now, if you run the game now, uh, it doesn't work because we don't have games for Windows Live. So let me show you how that's done. So yeah, we'll get this screen if you run the game now. Okay, it's not working. So what you need to do, open up Proton Tricks, the program that I told you to install at the start. Okay, and now we're going to locate your game. So it should be here, non-steam shortcut, startup.exe. We'll change that later. We'll change the name later. So just double click it and be patient. It feels like nothing's happening. It's actually loading the prefix and stuff. So yeah, don't panic here. Okay, so select the default wine prefix and then here run uninstaller. Okay. Okay, so if you go back to your downloads page, uh, your, your folder, so we do have this, remember the offline installer, the folder that we extracted. All right, there's a download folder and inside there's three MSI. These are installers. We need to install them manually. So what you need to do is here, click install then locate that folder. So it's in my downloads and then the offline installer, download at the three MSIs. So just install them. That's the first one. And then the second one. Next. Finish. And then the last one install okay and that's it that's it guys so now we can exit out of proton tricks so just cancel cancel and now if we run the game it should work hopefully if it doesn't work then i have to record all over again okay so it's a little bit different you can see yeah now it works and then you get this message your hardware does not meet the minimum system requirements do you want to continue i think this is only the first time when you run it you don't get this anymore afterwards okay you can see it's in a small little window but if you're playing this in gaming mode um it's full screen but uh, the resolution you need to set it so let me show you how to do that let me show you how to do that uh let's set it to dr Steam Deck resolution, 720p or 800p. So the, like the Steam, I'm using the Steam Deck controller. It, it like it automatically works. So go to options um, and then video settings. So screen resolution, I'm going to set it to 1280 by 800. Full screen, brightness, I'm going to turn up brightness. Okay, um, post processing, I'm going to set it to vivid. Or intense, yeah, intense. Yeah, I think intense is pretty good. And then I'm gonna set all these to high because the Steam Deck can run this like really well. V sync on. Okay, this I don't need the Direct X. I think this crashes the game, so don't don't set, keep this at off. And back, accept. Okay, you need to restart your game. Okay. So let's quit the game. Quit the game and let's test it out in gaming mode because, you know, a lot of people's going to say, hey, this game, it works in desktop mode, but it doesn't work in gaming mode. Let's prove them wrong. So Gears of War, I'm going to like change the, change the name here, shortcut. Okay. And let's run it in gaming mode. So stop it first. Gears of War. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's go back to gaming mode and I'll see you back there. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck's gaming mode. So first thing we want to do is change the artwork. It looks really bad right now. So I'm going to press the start button. Okay, the change artwork didn't pop up this time. It needs to kick in. Okay, so here, change artwork. So since I've got Gears of War, 
it automatically gives me options. Uh, I think this one's good. Hero. Uh, yeah, I think this one's good. Logo. Maybe this one. Okay, I can't. I'm not going to do it yet because um, this needs to restart. Yeah, I don't want to restart right now. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that looks much better. Much better. Now let's start the game and see if it works. In gaming mode. Should be fine. The old method was easier because you just run the script and it downloads the um, games for Windows Live and it installs properly. But now it doesn't work. So that's why we have to do a workaround while I'm updating this video. My last video, I think, has around 10,000 views. So I think a lot of people is interested in this game. So that's why I'm updating it. So hopefully this helped you out. Campaign, single player, new campaign, casual. Yeah, let's see how it runs. Should get like a 60 FPS pretty easily. Welcome back to the army, soldier. Yeah, you can see 60 FPS. I got a little stutter when I started to open fire. Yeah, all's good. All is good. All right, so yeah. I think I'll leave it here. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.